What you need to do if you've got wild dog activity, you've noticed tracks on your land or you have um, wild dogs attacking your sheep, you really need to uh, co immediately contact your local land services uh, rangers and get some professional advice on how to control those dogs. If somebody reports wild dogs, certainly we'll come out and we've got remote um, cameras that we can put out. Um, so if a farmer can identify like a trail that he thinks, you know, wild dogs are using, we're happy to bring out um, a number of cameras and put on those trails and leave them out. So that will help gather a lot of useful information, you know, that's needed for how often the dog's coming through, what sort of dog it is, um, all that sort of information that John needs, um, you know, if we bring need to bring him in um, to give him a good head start. While we're doing that we can put out bait, baits as well. If you don't uh, act on this and report that to the local land services you could well have a, uh, a sheep killer on your hands and that's the last thing you and your neighbours need is a sheep killer. Wild dog baiting is not the same as putting out fox baits you know, where you only put them out for a week or two. Dog baits, because dogs do take such a long time to go around their circuit, you do need to have baits out for a longer time and if you can identify those trails that the dogs are using and put baits out on those you know as a starting point um, would be a good good option while we're doing that monitoring and if the baiting is unsuccessful okay then we look at other options like bringing John in to try and trap a dog that won't take baits. <laughs>